Slide for uh, Peter Hickman. Oh, and Lee just standing it on its nose there and waving the back wheel in uh, Hickey's face. Hickey will get a, a smell of the uh, past now because he thinks Lee was a bit uh, on edge going into the hairpin. He might try and snap him up on the exit. So much happening in this race. We're ignoring all the fine racing going on further back down the field. Everybody's having a, a great opportunity to make the most of this racetrack. David Johnson, number 10 on the Honda. He was 12th at the end of the last lap. He's bridged that gap now, but I'm surprised to see David Johnson down there, but he hasn't been racing as much as these guys have of late. And here is Hickman on uh, Lee Johnson now again. It's the, it's the exit. It's getting onto the slipstream here, isn't it? Yeah. I thought he'd do it coming out of the uh, hairpin, but he didn't do, but he's right on Lee Johnston's toe. He knows how hard Lee Johnston is riding now to stay in front of him. Yep, I think we're going to see another mugging. Dean Harrison threw on Davey Todd, or is he? Yeah, I think so. He is. Hickman still behind Lee Johnston and pushing him, pushing him. And very often, you know, when the rider bit, and here's the uh, the wave two battle. We've been talking about uh, quality riding all through the field. Yeah, Mark Parrott leads that one, bike 16. And this poor Dean Harrison just watching. Oh, Lee Johnston. He's no, right. that, isn't he? That's commitment. We're on board with Peter Hickman. This is Jordan's cross, really bumpy. He's going to do it on the run down to the flag as he's got to do it after the Lindsay hairpin. Oh, coward ahead of Cummins now. That's a nice little battle. That shame we haven't seen more of it, but of course, this is the. Oh, oh my goodness! Becky. No! Becky. No! No! That well. was two bikes on the right hand side of the road. There was a gap. Lee? Just enough, big enough. Oh. As Johnston now says no. You want to ride it like that? I can oh, run it like that. And it's my... an outbreaking competition. Into the hairpin. Hickey's got the lead at the moment. We saw something very similar with uh, Irwin and Hickman a week ago at Thruxton, but this is even better. It's going to go all the way. Can he stop it in time? Oh, Hickman's got the line. Now he's all about Johnston. Johnston. Can he get in on the exit? Sorry, Rich. Yes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he was thinking he's got to get the drive out of the corner to come alongside him. It, I thought Hickey would wait to there we go. Oh, there Lee. we go. My. He's through again. Oh, Hickey. <laughs> <laughs> Hickey's back in front. Oh, Lee Johnston and Peter Hickman. This is. This is, a, this is the greatest lap I think I've ever seen at Dundrod. My goodness, they'll be talking about this one for years. But I think Hickman might have it now. I was going to suggest that Johnson's not close enough, and he isn't close enough. It's going to be Peter Hickman is going to win an absolute classic here at Dundrod at the Ulster Grand Prix. Fantastic race. What a 